Hey up everyone, Magpie Gaming here. I hope you're all doing well. In this video, we're going to dive into the specs of the Steam Deck and the Asus ROG Ally for comparison to see if either of these handhelds has what it takes to run Starfield. Officially, Todd Howard of Bethesda Games wouldn't be drawn on whether or not the Steam Deck would support Starfield natively when asked the question in a Q&A session on the Kinda Funny Games podcast, this was his answer. We'll talk about that later down the road. Uh, yeah. So take away from that what you will. So if we look at, look at the specs of the Xbox Series X where Starfield is locked to 30 FPS, the question seems to get even murkier as the hardware for the Xbox Series X is now starting to show its age and this will be one reason the Xbox Series X has been locked to 30 FPS. Todd Howard confirmed this and said this was a necessary move to ensure they didn't have to remove any of the game mechanics to get the game to run on the console. But when you look at the specs of the Steam Deck, it's using a more up-to-date CPU and GPU when compared to the Xbox console, but the CPU seems to be where the sticking point is on this subject. The game is heavily CPU bound from what we are hearing and indeed seeing when AMD showed the hardware recommendations, each of the CPUs they chose was pretty beefy. So if we take a look at the minimum CPU requirements for the game on the PC, we can see that both AMD and Intel CPUs share similar specs. Both have 6 cores, 12 threads with base clocks around 3.4 GHz, turboing up to 4.2 GHz in the case of the Ryzen. Ryzen 5 2600X. Comparing this to the Steam Deck's Zen 2 CPU which has 4 cores and 8 threads with a base clock of 2.4GHz and it turbos up to 3.5GHz, you can start to see where the obvious limitation is. For context we see that the Xbox Series X which uses a custom Zen 2 CPU has just 8 cores running at 3.8GHz and for further context the, the ROG Ally has a Ryzen Z1 Extreme processor with Zen 4 architecture with 8 cores 16 threads which can boost all the way up to 5.1 gigahertz. So looking at the specs overall, we see the disadvantage that the Steam Deck is at, but again, this doesn't show the whole picture. Steam actually run a verification program for games on the Steam Deck. Now, I don't know how this program works, but at a basic guess, I'm assuming it involves somebody at Valve actually playing the game on the Steam Deck and benchmarking it against certain criteria. And if it passes, they add it to the verified list and they say that you get a great experience from the game on the Steam Deck. Of course, some developers will skew a version of their game just for the Steam Deck, although I've no, how, no idea how many actually do this, but looking at the list there are some huge titles on there, Dying Light 2, Elden Ring, the Witcher 3 and even Cyberpunk 2077 to name a few and let's be honest if they can pass Cyberpunk for the list then surely they can with Starfield although it has to be noted that none of the Fallout titles which Starfield borrows from heavily actually feature as being verified on the Steam Deck. Now just because a game hasn't made it on the list doesn't mean it won't run well on the Steam Deck it can mean that Valve simply hasn't got round to verifying that game or they've maybe not even been asked to verify it but given some of those titles that have made the grade I can't see why Starfield won't and I can only assume that it's due to the obvious CPU limitation this is why Todd Howard wouldn't be drawn on the answer for the question. We can only hope that in the background this is currently being tested either by Bethesda or Valve or maybe even both as of course the game is going to be available on Steam so it makes sense that the game would be passed over to Valve for verification. When it comes to the tech specs of the ROG Ally I don't think that machine will have any issues at all running the game it just has far better specs than the Steam Deck and if I was looking at picking a handheld up specifically for playing Starfield, I would choose the Ally over the Steam Deck any day of the week. So in summary, there is of course a CPU limitation with the Steam Deck and the fact that the Xbox Series X is locked to 30 FPS doesn't bode well in favour of the game on the Steam Deck. But then some of the games that have been verified for the Steam Deck are of course huge open world titles and if they can make it, I really don't see why Starfield can't too. We will of course know within days of the launch if it will work on the Steam Deck as somebody somewhere will try it and no doubt some tech channels on YouTube will benchmark the game and may include the Steam Deck in those benchmarks. So I'll be watching all of this closely, you never know between now and then Bethesda might finish their conversation on this subject and announce if it will be supported on the Steam Deck or not. What I would like you guys to do is let me know down in the comments section below if you indeed have a Steam Deck or looking to play Starfield on that Steam Deck or if you're looking to play it on a PC but also have a Steam Deck or in Indeed a ROG ally and you're just going to try it on those uh, systems or if indeed you're sat there wondering if you should get a handheld to play this game maybe you work away or you can't be at the PC or the Xbox all the time and you want to be able to take Starfield with you let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this whole subject with that being said that's it from me ladies and gentlemen thanks very much for watching and listening don't forget to like share and subscribe stay safe and I will catch you in the next one take care